There is a lot on the table. Well, not really. It's the same beer, just two cans. And then behind it is a carton of Elmhurst milked oats. Milked oats. I don't even know what that Interesting. is. Interesting. Unsweetened. 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 I don't know what that means. So they take the oats and they grind it up into a, a liquid paste huh. as a alternative to conventional milks, I suppose. I guess. I and guess. it's not just any oat. Hmm. Where the Red River runs through Canada's endless prairie, there's an oat, a simple unique oat, with a story to tell. Henry Schwartz, who closed New York City's last dairy to start a plant milk company, brought this oat home from the Great North. The Great White North? The Great White North. It's from the fields of Manitoba to your wait, glass wait, wait, wait. mug. I gotta say, take off, eh? Oh, you're a your hoser. <laughs> you're going to the hoser hut? Yes, I'll be there. From the fields of Manitoba to your glass or mug, we give you Elmhurst Unsweetened Manitoba. Milk. Manitoba. That's funny. We're not manning a tuba. Manitoba. 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 We believe that plant-based milks should taste like their source. That's why we have only a few simple ingredients in each carton. Simpler is better. So I got a question for you. What does oat milk have to do with this beer? Well, this is Dogfish Heads. This is where you say, hazy, funny you should ask. Hazy O. Funny. Where the O is for not one, not two, not three, but four. Four. Different. Types of oats. Nice. They use mottled oats. Okay. They use rolled oats. All right, I'm gonna pour one. They know. use <laughs> naked oats. Naked oats. And they use a little dab of oat milk. Fascinating. So this oat milk? That oat milk. Nice. So the malted oats gives you a little delicate sweetness. Uh -huh. The rolled oats gives you some dense haze. Okay. The naked oats gives you a toasty character. And the oat milk is for a silky, soft, creamy mouthfeel. Hmm. So this should be an interesting uh, little beer here. That's a nice pour. It is a nice pour. I think you may have short poured yourself though. No, I'll go back. I'm I'm doing your method. You know, you go. <laughs> I gotta. You know, I poured too much, and then you just kind of go too back. Much. And just, too much. You give too, too much, much, darling. Too, too much. much. We like Edna Mode. So this big fans, uh, big this, fans of Edna. This beer is an India Pale Ale style. Okay. And it is seven point one percent ABV. Uh, just one thing. One thing. That is a good looking beer. That is a good looking beer. That is a really and good looking beer. Much like the can says, it seems a bit hazy. Yeah, it is. You, I mean, I can't see through this one. No. The last beer we had, I could see right through it. Sir? Ooh, that's nice. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to uh, Elmhurst and our fine friends at Dogfish Head. And the people from Canada. <sighs> Manitoba. Manitoba. Well, see, I say Manitoba because my, my eldest, they did Annie when he was back in mm -hmm. middle school. And he's his one character. He was the scammer. I forget what the, the brother. Oh, Rooster. 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 So he was Rooster, and there was a whole bit where he's trying to fool her, and he comes in and goes, "Oh, from Manitoba." It's like, okay, we got ducks and gay chickens. Hey, oh, it's fun. It smells really yeah, that's good. Nice. There is a tremendous amount of citrus on the nose. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting like a lot of like a little bit of like uh, tangerines, maybe. A little orange, maybe a little grapefruit. Yeah, some grapefruit, maybe some pineapple. But I'm getting more towards the orange. Yeah. I'm getting more like orange, yeah. and like you said, maybe a little bit more like tropical fruit. Yeah. Smells good. Looks fantastic. That's really nice. I really like the... Uh, and the head retention's yeah. there. This looks really creamy, too. It, it does. It does. You going to go in? I'm going in. Yeah. That's very nice. Boy, that is something. You know, it's it's not abrasive or like aggressive, you know? it's got It's got a little bite to it on the yeah. end. Like on the back end, you get a little bit of bite. It's like a soft landing. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like when everybody, you know when you fly like southwest and you get the good landing and everybody applauds? That's this. Then you come to a screeching halt when you reach the gate. Shouldn't you always get the good landing? How often do you fly and you don't These get days, the good landing? Not at all. I don't really understand. I haven't flown in a long time. Uh, it, it does have the creaminess. It is a little bit like a uh, like the New England IPAs. Mm -hmm. A little along that line. Where it's got well, that it creamy, is, right? That creamy mouthfeel to it. It's like a hazy New England style yeah, IPA. But it's got that... Creamy mouthfeel to it, but it it doesn't have what I would consider the abrasive hops character, where they're not trying to slap you in the face with the hops. You get a little bit on the back end with yeah. with some tartness and maybe a little drying, mm -hmm. but it's it's really a very palatable beer. No, it's good. And, and you said it was what seven point two? Seven point one. Seven point one. Okay. No, that's really good. I like that. I mean, that is just that's very very beer. easy drinking. That's that is nice beer. But it's, and the thing is, it's that, that back end piece yeah. that, that reminds you, oh, you're drinking an IPA. Yeah. Okay, no, that's yeah. good. Well, and you need to have that. It isn't just a glass of creamy juice, mm. but it's, it's very nice. 
That is very, very nice. I, I would give this a B plus. I would go B plus, B plus to A minus. Yeah. It's straddling that line, like an 89. It's 88, 89, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that's good. Now, here's reason. the question. Have you ever had milk I oats? I have never had milk oats. No. I, I've never had, uh, I've had almond milk. Okay, and how's that? But I've never had soy milk or any of the, the other milks. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it was uh, some recipe called for it, so I bought it for that, and I think I wound up being the person that finished it because what kind of horrible recipe? Like the you garbage just below the trying to make. So, anything in the house? Do you want to try this? Sure, I'll try. I don't drink milk, and sure. I and I told the fine woman um, who sent us this stuff from Dogfish Head that I don't drink milk, That's but we'll gladly try it. No offense. I said, you know, I'm just saying I don't drink it. I like I, I like milk products. You know, like I'll eat, you know, ice cream, cheese, all that good stuff. I'm in. Yogurt, just not a drinker. I don't like the milk. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Boy, that is a color. It's like eggnog. Yeah, well, it's kind of, it's got a little. See that color? Yeah, it's. It looks grainy. Brown. <laughs> you tell me how to tell me how that works out for you. What's it smell? It has. Oh, you smell. It has no aroma to it. There's no aroma. Yeah, it's a smell. Yeah. Smell doesn't smell like anything. It's Where I sure. think some of the other um, almond milk has a, a smell to it. Mm -hmm. If you get like condensed milk or anything along those lines, they all yeah. have a, a different kind of sweetness or smell to it. This is unsweetened, so I guess it has no sweetness. To it. Come on, come on, come on. Drink it. Drink it. Well, wow. that tastes like milk. Does Shockingly. it? Shockingly. Yeah. Imagine that. You want something some, called you want milk. some cocoa pebbles to Taste go with that? Milk. You want to no. pour that over some cocoa pebbles? No, I would pour this over cocoa pebbles. How about a latte? Uh, the, the kids are awfully big with making uh, smoothies. Okay. I think this would be really good with. A lot of fruit in it. Throw some fruit in it. Well, you got a go bag now, my friend. You got a go bag. All right. I so, finished, so that I finished the beer. Yeah, that's good. I so like they that. fooled you? I like that. They would have fooled you? Except uh, for the color. Except for the color. The color would have fooled you. But how was the texture? Just like milk? Tastes of just like milk. Oh, okay. Has a little bit of like a an oaty, because I eat a lot of oatmeal. Okay. So it has like a little bit of that in the aftertaste, hmm. which is fine with me because I like that. Interesting. I like it. Interesting. Okay. All right, well, good. Very nice. Then that gets nice a, alternative. And uh, I think the West Coast went out and bought a whole bunch of this stuff, right? actually. He's trying all these alternative milks. So, or his wife is. I'm not sure which one. One of, the, one of those two is. Someone's trying something. Someone in, in, the, in the West Coast household is trying the alternative milks. And I think he said he did pick up a bunch of these. Yeah. So, just so you know, there's a shout out to Elmhurst coming from the West Coast office. Uh, but going back to this beer, I really like it. That's yeah. very good. Yeah. That is very, very good. So, and it, it's a little unconventional, which I think is what you kind of expect from Dogfish Head, uh -huh. where they've done something out of the ordinary. Yeah. What, what but was it, their but it works. It works. What was the thing? <laughs> They're uh, off-centered people drink responsibly, and they seem a bit off-centered. They're not uh, well, so right down the middle. Um, but but another, another nice beer. It's really good. Yeah, very good. Well, thank you to the fine folks at Dogfish Head. Cheers. And cheers to you, sir. Salute. Oh.